Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the Summer Intensive Guideline 2022. This is a subject offered by the Gujarat Technological University in the 7th semester of all engineering branches. And the subject code for the Summer Intensive is 317 -0001. As per the circular published on the GTU, that student need to go for the intensive for a two week before commencement of the seventh semester and after completion of the sixth semester. So as per the guideline published by the university that student need to go for the intensive during the 20th June 2022 to the 9th July 2022. So among these three week you need to go for a two week of intensive and there are three different options are given for this subject. So first one is the offline internship in the industry. Second is online internship. A third one is a mini project. So a student can be able to take any one of the options among the three. So the first option is offline internship in the industry. As the name suggests that student need to go for the offline in the industry for a two week of internship. And student is supposed to produce the joining letter and the redeeming letter once the internship is over in the case of offline internship. Second is online internship with the organizations or the institute. Those are approved and supported as well as recommended by the All India Council of Technical Education that is AICTE like the Intersala. So this kind of the different industry which is recommended as well as supported by the AICTE that is permitted to take the online internship in this industry. The third option is a mini project. In the mini project, student need to carry out the some suitable topic related to the respective branch and it may be a small fabrication or experimental result, simulations and application development, design and or analysis of the system depending on the branch of the student. Preferably, a single student should be carried out a mini project. Only single student will go for the mini project. Now students, we are going to discuss the general guideline for the summer intensive. Step 1. Request letter email from the institute should go to the industry to allot the multiple slot of the two week during the summer vacation as a summer intensive period for the student. Students request letter profile interest area may be submitted to the industry for their willing for providing the summer intensive. The step 2. Industry will confirm the intensive slot as per the availability of the numbers of students as well as the availabilities of date. In case of the student arrange the intensive by themselves, then the confirmation letter will be submitted by the student in the office of training and placement in the respective department. Step 3. Student after joining the training at the concerned industry organization has to submit the joining report, letter or email. Step 4. Students are undergoing for the summer intensive at the concerned industry organization in the faculty mentors has to evaluate the performance of the students once by visiting the industry organization and evaluation report of the student need to be submitted in the department office with consent of industry person or the trainers. Step 5. Student will submit a training report after completion of intensive. It means students you need to take the letter, you need to go for the intensive, you need to produce the joining letter and after that the mentor will visit your industry or organization and take the feedback from the industry people and after completion of the intensive, student need to submit the report. And last is you need to produce the training certificate or the intensive certificate from the industry. Now report submission and evaluation guideline. So student have to prepare the detailed report and submit the report to his or her college. A copy of report can be kept in the department for the record. Each student must be assigned a faculty as a mentor means from your department one faculty will be assigned as a mentor for every student and also you have the industry expert as an external guide or the industry mentor. Then the total evaluations for the subject is of 100 mark. Out of that, 20 mark will be the internal components and 80 marks will be the viva components. I component will be evaluated by the faculty mentor or the internal guide of the students. And V component of 80 marks will be carried out as an internal faculty 
but this V component will be evaluated by the faculty member of the department nominated by the internship committee formed by the institute. Report submission and evaluation guideline. The presentation by the student for the internship or the mini project should be in presence of all student is desirable means so student you need to prepare the report after completions of internship and same will be presented in front of all the students and student should also produce the successful completion certificate in case of summer internship in the industry the details of the types of internship carried out by the student it means whatever the topics you selected like offline internship online internship or the mini project you need to upload that options selected by you on the gtu pmms portal and after completions of the internship you also need to upload the report on the pmms portal the various format is also given by the gtu in the syllabus so evaluation rubrics are given by the gtu so on the page number one you need to write the detail of the student as well as industry and the mandatory details as well as mode of intensive the second format is given for the uh, certificate of intensive and the third format is given for the evaluation rubrics in which there are two types of rubrics are defined by the gtu one is of 20 marks and another is of 80 marks so here the two criteria are given each consists of 10 marks and for the external evaluations there are four criteria are given and each consists of 20 marks and basis on the rating you will get the marks so student you need to consider this point for uh, evaluations of your intensive report other guideline the evaluation of the work carried out by the student will be carried out after two weeks so thank you students thank you for watching this video